Good morning, all of you. Am I audible to everyone? Please respond. Mm -hmm. okay. So let's start the today's session. All right. So in today's session, we'll be talking about the test taking strategy. That what approach you should follow while writing a test to improve your scores. Right. Now, so let me first of all tell you. Uh, we all know that there are basically three sectors that is quant, English, and LRD. Okay. The first thing, few things, the five golden rules of test taking is nothing, but that is first one is you need to stay focused. And that's a very challenging thing that how to stay focused for the complete three hours. Because earlier the paper used to be around two hours, sometimes two and a half hours. Now the paper is for three hours. So one of the major challenges there is that need to stay focused for the complete three hours. How to manage the time effectively. All right. How to strike a balance that is accuracy versus attempt. And then how to select the questions. And then DI and RC attempts. How to attend the DI and the RC session. So basically we'll be talking about these five things here. All right. So I think how many of you are facing the problem number one? that most you are not able to stay focused for, let's say, the complete three hours. And what are you doing to overcome this? That's a very, very challenging thing that you need to focus for three hours. So how many of you are facing this problem that you are not able to focus for the complete three hours? Gauran, Atul, Devaranjan, Dutch, Shuman, Yeshwan, Aser, Muskan, almost every, everyone. So what are you guys doing to overcome this so that you should be focused for this complete three hours? That's the thing there. Okay. Yes, definitely you need to increase your setting. Now everything comes with a practice only. Okay, yes, that happens with everyone, Sachin. That happens with everyone that eight section crab on kebab down over there. That that happens with everyone. Constant study for two to three hours. Yes, that's right. But again, the most important thing is that whenever you are writing a mock at home or at anywhere, if you're going to the center, at any center, you are writing a mock, sitting in front of the computer, take care. Okay, Puja is saying, Mera to man nahi karta, aage karne ke agar ek ho jai to. Yes, yes, that's a challenge. Take care. And that, that's why the people who are reaching to the IMs, take care. Why people are joining the IMs? Because they are probably they are more focused than you all are. Yes or no, Puja? Because if you are not able to focus for the one hour or two hours, so how do you work? Probably you might not be able to focus in, uh, while doing your job or anything else, wherever you are going there. So it's it's all about writing the test ticket because in those three hours, they are actually taking everything. Whoever is going to set the paper and whoever is setting the paper, they are actually taking everything, not only your knowledge of this quant or LRDI and this verbal, but actually they are taking everything that whether you can focus for the entire three hours duration or not, that is also is getting checked actually. So the point is what you all are doing to overcome this, that you should be able to concentrate for the entire year. Because now you don't have any questions. The fourth section is definitely going to be which one? Which is the fourth section? Please tell me. Which is the fourth section? The fourth section is definitely VARC. Okay. Then the second section is what? LRDI or font? Please tell me. That is LRDI. And the third time is third section is definitely the font. So the order is going to be the same. This year also, it's not going to be changed. Okay, the first section is VRC, LRT. So I think the problem with most of us is that uh, we are probably very much focused in the first section, but the moment we reach to the second section or third section, we are not focused very well. Is that okay? But in my opinion, that VRC, that is one section which actually needs a lot of concentration. Okay, in point, even if you are not concentrated, because in point there is a single, single question. But when it comes to the VRC and LRDA, these are the two sections which needs a lot of concentration. You need to spend, uh, let's say, because you are solving a lot of tough 
RC passes or it's not necessary to call the RC passes or maybe a set of questions here. So from one particular set, there are around five to six questions from one passage or from one LID set, there are around four, four questions here. In RC, there are five, six questions also. From one three RC, you can find six questions and from the two of the RC, there are three, three questions each year. Okay. So I say in that case, it's very, very important that you should start writing a test, a lot of tests. Because there are a lot of people who do not write a test, they simply go and give a CAT examination. They just keep practicing. So just practicing only one question and LRD questions or maybe the English question is not going to help you. So the important thing is that if you want to stay focused, please start writing a test for sitting for three hours. Unless you start writing, okay, it might be possible that in the first couple of mocks, maybe three mocks, four mocks, or maybe in ten mocks, you might not be able to focus. But if you start writing a box, sitting for three, three hours each, take it. Then only you'll be able to stay focused here. And there is no other way. Take it. Yes, you might take the help of, I can say, you can start doing a meditation. Take it if you are not able to concentrate for the entire three hours, you might start doing a meditation. And again, uh, one more thing is, whenever you are writing a test, I'm sure, take care. What most of you guys are doing is that, take care, you mobile phone. How many of you sit with your mobile phone while writing a test? Why? Why? Why your mobile phone is in front of you if you are writing a test? Is the mobile phone is going to help you? Please tell me. Tamir, I am Atul. Then, also I, I will say that whenever you are writing a test, please switch off your mobile phone or this will not. <coughs> it's a distraction to Google yet. So definitely it will distract you. Because whenever your mobile phone is in front of you, even if you are not using it, even if you have put it in the silent mode, silent mode may be just the atom or then also what will happen at probably half an hour, you might think, okay, chalo, if I check the letter, is there any message on the WhatsApp or on Facebook page to see the profile they can or maybe something like that. We will keep doing that one. Yes. So I'll say, one of the things I'll say, please deactivate your Facebook account for the next 50 days. If you can do that. Deactivate your Facebook account for the next 50 days because Facebook is not going to help you to crack the cat at top. You all have the resources, you all have the materials, just keep practicing, keep practicing. And I'm always there for you for clearing all your doubts. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is probably from tomorrow, take care, uh, tomorrow is what Monday, take care. Probably from Monday, from tomorrow onwards, I'm daily, I'm going to share one link with all of you in the morning at around nine o'clock. And on that link, I'll be present throughout a day. So if you have any doubts, any, any doubts, any queries, just join the meeting on that link and you can discuss with me one to one. Make sure that you have a webcam and everything. Okay, so, Till the CAT is over, I'll share one link daily in the morning. On that particular link, I will be available throughout the day. Take care. If you have any doubts, any queries, you can discuss all your doubts, any queries, or anything. Take care. All right. Uh, at times, it might happen that maybe I find some be busy in something. So I'll tell you, okay, just wait for five minutes or ten minutes till the time I complete my work and everything. Most of the time, yes, you can join from the phone also, phone. But phone pay up the doubts case and quick it out. I'm saying that whenever you're solving any questions, anything, whatever the doubts is there, take care. I'll share one link every day in the morning. Okay. And you can join that room. That room is known as a personal room. So you can join that room. There will be a one room. But the one room means that's a virtual room where you all can join. See? Another thing which I can do for you is, take care for some of you is that, I can create a separate, separate link. If any one of you want to do a group study, take care. But the, not a group study, Aapas will discuss Kanata, so maybe someone from the Bangalore, someone from the Mumbai and someone from, you can make your own group and tell me, sir, that we want to study at this particular duration. So I can create one link where you all can join, you all can study on your own. There is a breakout room facility which I can provide to you. But usually it's not necessary to study because I say study on your own, that is more important. 
Okay. So, yes. So, what we are discussing here is that you need to stay focused for the complete three hours uh, or for two hours. So, make sure that while writing a mock, take care, your mobile phone is completely switched off. Not only switched off, mobile phone room ke under hi hona chahiye. Give your mobile phone to your parents. Do not bring your mobile phones in the room whenever you are writing the mock. Take care. Give it to your parents. Completely switched off for the three hours and after three hours you can definitely check your mails and everything, whatever. Take care. And most of the time, take care, we keep for spending on the mobile phone is just browsing everything, which is not much of use. Which is not much of use here. Okay. So I'll say you need to stay focused for completely three hours. That's a very big tell. Take care. Start writing a mock, sit for three hours, no matter what happens. कुछ भी मन नहीं लग रहा है कुछ भी नहीं कर रहा है भूख लगी है तब भी तीन घंटे बैठे रहो बिकॉज वॉट एपल्स आई एम श्योर दैट वेन यू आर गोइंग टू राइट अ कैट एक्चुअल कैट ठीक है वेन द टाइमिंग इज एट टेन ओ क्लॉक और मे बी एट टू ओ क्लॉक सम ऑफ यू माइट नॉट इट एनी थिंग एट ऑल तो पेट भी दर्ज करते रहेगा यू माइट फील हंग्री वेन यू आर राइटिंग अ मॉक एंड एवरी थिंग प्यास लगते रहेगी बट स्टिल यू नीड टू डू एवरी थिंग सब करके बैठेंगे ओके दैट्स ग्रेट Now, next thing is how to manage your time effectively. Take care. Like, if there is a one hour, so in one hour, take care. How to effectively, like, for a one particular section, so we are getting one hour. So, how to utilize that time effectively? That that we are going to discuss. Take care. When I move to the next one, accuracy versus the time. Now, I am sure that a lot of you are facing this issue also. That is accuracy versus the time. That when you try to attend more number of questions, your accuracy is going low. Yes or no? How many of you are facing this problem? That whenever you try to attempt more and more number of questions, your accuracy keeps on decreasing. If you are attempting less questions, your accuracy is very, very high. Yes, but only in RT. Yes. Now let me tell you very frankly that English is one section. That basically English is one section in for which you are never sure about your answers. ठीक है. Mostly in quant, there is no issues. You will be actually sure होते हैं कि हाँ ये सही है. This is the correct answer. But in English. No one will be sure about whether your answers are right or wrong. Okay, at times, okay, uh, your accuracy is very high. At times, your accuracy is very low. English में ऐसा होता है, especially in RT. Yes. So that will happen. So for that, do not need you do not need to worry a lot. Yes, one and Vasu. Okay, just keep on practicing, practicing. I'll say whenever, uh, like I already told you that uh, if your attempt is, so I'll say do not try to attempt each and every question. That is very very important. So if, even if even if there are 32 questions, even if you attempt around 45, 26 questions, that is good enough. But yes, accuracy should be very very high. So you also focus more on the accuracy instead of attempt. Okay. Start focusing on the accuracy because accuracy plays a major role here. Okay. If you are accurate enough, even if you are doing 25 questions, again, we, Deepak, there is no. Uh, As a rule, okay, that how many attempts in BM? No, I say attempt only 15 percent, but it should be then 100 percent accuracy. Hello. So number of attempts it depends upon person to person. For that there is no, there is no guidelines that how many persons one should attempt. I say ideally you should try to attempt around 24 to 25 persons with around approximately 80 percent accuracy, 80 to 90 percent accuracy. Okay. But yes, if you are getting a lot of time, you can attempt all the courses. Okay, there are a lot of marks in VA. So it depends. Siddhartha, देखो अगर तुम उसे whenever if you are going to ask me these questions are how many questions we should attempt, how many marks we should target. So there is no as such there is no guideline. Everything depends upon the difficulty level of that particular paper. ठीक है तो paper पे depend करता है. So do not go with a predetermined mindset that you are going to attempt. Okay, let's say that's a 20 questions or maybe 30 or 32 questions, not 32 questions. You need to make a strategy of for depending upon the difficulty level of the paper. Because always keep one thing in mind that if the paper is difficult, then it is difficult for everyone. If it is going to be easy, then it's going to be easy for everyone. Okay, just keep that thing in mind. Okay, so do not never go with a predetermined mindset that you are going to attempt only 20 questions or 25 questions. I have seen lot of people. Okay, uh, they go with this mindset. Okay, the paper is going to be easy, so I am going to attempt 20 questions. So even if they have got a lot of time after attempting 20 questions, 
they do not try to attempt to do questions. No, you should try to attempt as many questions as possible, I'll say. You should try to attempt as many questions as possible, but yes, focus on accuracy. Do not do any guesswork unless it is a non-MCQ question. If it is a MCQ, then do not make a guesswork at all. If you are not sure about your answers, please leave that. Okay. Deco, abhi abhi atul, again, I told you already, I am not going to tell you that how many questions you are going to attempt. Try to attempt as many questions as you can. All right? Because there will be people who are going to attempt all 34 questions. Yes or no? Hongi, kuch na kuch to log aise hongi that who are going to attempt all 34 questions. And this, these people are probably there. For example, when Rahul Sun start writing a book, he probably do all the 34 questions in about 40 minutes. 40, 45 minutes when the paper complete ho jata hai. Hai? And he do not even need a second round, anything else here. But, so there will be a lot of people. I will not say everyone. If there are 2 lakh people are appearing, so there might be 100 or 100 or 200 people are there who will be able to attempt easily all the 34 questions because they might be very much comfortable in that paper. So, I will say, do not make yourself so you need to identify your strengths and your weaknesses actually. That's very, very important that at this stage you should try to identify your strengths and weaknesses. Okay. So focus on accuracy, not on the attempts. And gradually, because right now still there are 50 days, so start focusing on accuracy and gradually you need to increase your attempt. Okay. For example, you can, you can start attempting 15 questions. The next day, mock may maybe 15 to 18, okay, 18 to 20, and then 20. Slowly and gradually increase your attempt and just see whether you all can improve. But focus on the accuracy. Now, next is the selection of the questions. How to select the questions and be in RC. So that we'll see here. So now I was talking about, about your strengths and weaknesses. So how many of you have identified your strengths and weaknesses? That in which all topics or areas you are comfortable and in which areas you are not at all comfortable. Anyone who has identified this issue? That's great. Because it's very, very easy to identify. Okay. For example, for example, yes, I'll say, I'll just share one file and with all of you. Okay. So I, I'll mail this word doc to all of you also. You can see here, my comfort zone that is run through the list and the check the appropriate box depending upon your comfort level. Okay, so like base multiplication, okay, squaring, square root general. So there are three sections, unclear, need some work, and the all clear. So you need to fill that form because when you fill this form, probably you will be able to know, okay, that which all areas I need to work upon. Like when it comes to the number system, there are a lot of things, classification of number, except LCM factors, finding last digit, last two digit, highest power, dividing of factorial, remainders, and base system. So you need to identify whether it is all clear. When all clear, it means I'm talking about the basic concepts of all the concepts which are involved, whether you are comfortable with all the concepts or not, or whether you need some work or you need to unclear. So I'll send this chart to everyone. Take it through me. Probably I'll upload it somewhere. And you all can discuss, you all need to fill this to identify that which all are your strong areas, which all are your weaker areas. Like in grammar, you can say pronoun errors or subject verb agreement or tense errors or parallelism, modifiers, language, in verbal logic, deductive logic, paragraphs, critical reasoning, paragraph. So you need to identify your strengths and weaknesses. That's very, very important. Like in RC also, whether you are com comfortable with factual questions or inferential and short passes, long post passes or style and tone and what all these things are related. Okay. So that will help you to identify your strengths and weaknesses, but it's very, very important at this stage to identify your strengths and weaknesses. And now something in which you are. Mock level, can you can prepare an Excel sheet on your own, Nanodita. How much time it will take? The right areas to determine to the. Because remember, uh, if you go to the mock analysis, I'll show you the report section. In the report section, there are a lot of charts are there. So you can easily go through for each and every mock. You can go through these charts and you can identify. I'll show it to you this way. 
ओके जस्ट गिव मी अ Whether can you all see the files? Whether I have shared the files with all of you? Please see on your screen. I have just shared a file with all of you, so you all can download. Dikhai de raha hai na sabko? I have just shared one file counseling form with all of you. Ye kisi ki friend ne bhara tha last year maine so I just please download it. ठीक है Done. Okay. All right. Great. Just give me a minute, all. I have shared one more file. Can you all see that? Now this file has actually all the NMAT questions which was asked last year. Whether I have already shared in this form, someone has collected and uploaded it somewhere. Okay. So I just said no. That's a 2.43 MB file. अभी जस्ट शेयर किया जस्ट देखो एन मैट वॉट इट यस अपलोड हो रहा होगा अभी मेरी साइड से मैंने अपलोड कर दिया तुम्हारे डिपेंडिंग अपॉन यूर स्क्रीन सी ऑल गॉट दैट सो दैट हैज गॉट डन डन चेक इन आई थिंक आई हैव ट्रांसफर दैट फाइल टू विद ऑल ऑफ यू आई शेयर दैट फाइल विद ऑल ऑफ यू चेक करो कहाँ पे आ रहा ये मैसेज तो मुझे नहीं पता आई एम शेयरिंग इट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम यूजिंग दिस ऑप्शन एक्चुअली फ्रॉम द विविच नॉट ओपनिंग हाँ नोटिफिकेशन दैट्स राइट इन द नोटिफिकेशन पॉप ऑफ दैट्स राइट ठीक है ना सो ये एनमेट रिलेटेड ये तो आई हैव ऑलरेडी शेयर विद यू लास्ट इन लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स ऑन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप पे ठीक है, but I find somewhere कि someone has collected and post all the questions of all the slots in one page, so मैंने सोचा तुम्हारे साथ में शेयर कर देता हूँ, that feeling. Just a minute. This is the file, ठीक है, so some one of the website has collected, I think ये इन लोगों ने फेसबुक से सारे कलेक्ट कर दिया दिस इज द फाइल सो विंडो वाइज विंडो वन टू थ्री फोर सारे एक जगह ही कंपाइल किया हुआ है सो ऑल दो राइटिंग एंड मैट इफ दे वांट टू गो थ्रू दिस सो आई डोंट नो हाउ मच दैट विल बी हेल्पफुल बट यस इट इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ ऑल दी वर्ड्स विच वॉज आस्ट लास्ट ईयर एंड एवरीथिंग एडमिट हो ओके लेकिन मैटर किसी ने भी किया हो ये सारे कलेक्ट करके तो यू कैन गो थ्रू आई एम आई हैल्सो शेयर द सेम थिंग विथ यू इन द पास्ट the word doc of that ठीक है और नाउ लेट्स कमिंग बैक टू आवर पॉइंट नाउ सो यू ऑल नो 
that in point, the total number of questions are nothing but they are basically 34. Okay. Now, how to attend the point section? Because it's going to be the last section. So, when it comes to attending the point sections, you always need to attend in the rounds. You should ideally devote at least two rounds. Yes, two to three rounds. What you should do in the round? So, let's say if I'm talking about the round one questions, what are all round one questions are here? Take care. Like, probably in the first round, you should always try to questions which has less than three or four lines. Why? The reason being is if any person which has more than three or four lines, so it might take a lot of time to read that particular of the questions. So, any questions with more than three or four lines, so if you make a, okay, if you have already decided that I'm just going to attempt only the questions, which is one in one line or question or two line of question. So, this one, that way you can save up. Because in the round one, you should try to solve, our idea is that in the first round of the questions of the point sections, we should try to score more and more in very less amount of time. Okay. But it doesn't mean that you should, when I say that you should try to solve all the questions which are less than three or four lines, so, it doesn't mean that you should try to solve each and every question which has less than three or four lines. You should try to solve the questions from a topic that you are very much familiar or if you are, if you are seeing any familiar questions. So when I say that questions should be less than three or four lines, okay, it doesn't mean that you should try to try to solve each and every question. No, from the topic in which you are very much comfortable. And that you need to identify, that in which all topics you are comfortable. So that's why I have said that so that you can write down, you can take a print out of that page, put a tick mark, or they go up okay, which areas you need to work a lot. Another thing is, while reading the question should be comprehensible. It means, the moment you read the question, you should understand actually the question. Because it might be a one-liner question, it might be a two-liner question, but when you start reading the question, you will not able to understand anything in that particular question. So if you are not able to understand, if you are not able to comprehend the question in one reading, please leave that question at that instant. Do not try to attempt that. Do not go for the second reading or third reading. Any question which needs a second reading or third reading, so it, it means that is going to be tough because you are because if it is needed, if you are reading a second reading or the third reading, so difficult to hoga yoga. So it's better to avoid such type of the questions in the first round. Why to attempt such type of the question in the first round? Probably there will be a second round, third round. If you have got enough time, then probably you can come back to that question and you can read and read and read and again. Okay. After reading, solution must be known from the start to end. Because there will be a lot of questions when you start solving, when you start solving the questions, the moment you see the questions, at least in your head, at the back of your head, something strikes okay that if I follow this particular step, you might be able to solve it. You can you know what is the process of solving this. So most of the time it might take a lot of time also, one minute or two minutes, but yes, at the back of your mind, you know the process, how to get the answer of that question, you know the methods, you know the rules and everything, formulas and everything. You can no extensive calculation is needed. Almost avoid attempting the questions to use a lot of calculations up here. And from my past observation, what I have seen that basically the question with arithmetic arithmetic questions are easily easily calculated. Yes or no? You must have solved a lot of time is for distance questions on time and work question of percentages, time is for distance especially. We can. No, easy out there. It might be possible that here we can, you need to identify your okay, whether this when I, we are solving the question, whether it is going to be time consuming or not. So okay, when you get a question, it might be time consuming. So avoid the calculation based question. Avoid attempting questions in which the options that cannot be determined or data information, etc. In the first round. Why? Because when you say the options that cannot be determined or data information, so even after the getting your answers, you might be thinking, okay, yeah, one of the options is cannot be determined, so it might be possible that there are few more answers are possible. So in, people are usually get confused when the options that cannot be determined or data information. So it's better that it should come back the subject of the questions in the second round. Okay. Also apply the questions like this one. Which of the following statement is true or false? Why? Because when I say that which of the following statement is true or false, option number A, option number B, option number C, option number D. Okay. So what I need to do at times it happens that I need to take the first option, second option, third option, fourth option. I need to take each and every option. So for me this is as good as solving four different questions. Because I can only four options. If I need to take all the four options, what is what is going to happen? It's 
going to be very, very difficult here. So try to avoid attempting all the step of the process. You can come back because taking all the four options one by one is going to take a lot of time. Now, avoid attempting set of two to three questions because if there is a set of two to three questions, a lot of people start, okay, there is a set of two to three questions, let's call this. But at times it might be difficult or it is taking a lot of time. Always try to attempt in the first one, single single question, one line or two line of questions. And also avoid the attempting questions of geometry if too much info is given and you need to draw a diagram. If the diagram, if the figure is already given on the screen, then it's well and good. Okay, because you know the figure is already given on the screen, so it will not take too much of time to draw the figure. But by reading certain amount of information and then drawing the figure based on that information, that might take a lot of time. So you should apply this type of question. Okay. Also, apply very, very above all this very, very stringent. It's not only 50 to 25 minutes. Now, it depends upon the difficulty level of the paper. At times, the first round it might go in 3 to 30 minutes also. At times, the first round is over in 10 minutes. If the paper is very, very tough, first round will pass with the past with the Shari questions over it. If it's very tough, so what is going to happen? You will not be able to find out more than 2 to 3 questions. If the paper is very, very easy, so the first round might take, because in that case, if the first round, uh, if the paper is easy, you will try to attempt each and every question. You will be set up all So, I say, ideally, it varies from 15 to 25 minutes, depending on the difficulty level of the paper. But yes, you will be able to attempt to the amount of the questions. I would say not 9 to 10, probably it might be, I would say, around 10 to 15. My target is that in the 15 minutes, I should be able to solve at least 10 questions. In the first 15 minutes, 10 to 15 questions. That's the 15 question, if the first 15 minutes question is done, then definitely there will be a confidence, you will be getting a confidence, okay, I have solved 10 questions in the first 10 minutes or in the first 15 minutes. So, up to coming and then, you will stop it out. And then there is the second round. In round 2, you can, you can go through the remaining questions and select the questions from your comfort zone. Okay. Again, I am just focusing on the word comfort zone. Do not try to attempt the questions from the area in which you are not comfortable. For example, if you are not comfortable with the question based on the permutation and combination, if you are not comfortable with the top, this particular topic, let's see, if you are not getting your answers right when you are doing the box, when you have attended the boost camp or in the classes, so what's the guarantee that when you are you can attend the first type of the questions in the actual exam? I can see no guarantee, no hint, no question, no question, no so, if you are not able to solve any particular question right now on any particular topic, there is no guarantee that you can solve the question from that topic in the exam. But still people try. I have seen a lot of people. Okay? Like if I am not comfortable with the probability. So, why I should spend the time on the probability? I should not even look at the question based on the probability. Some people, okay, they start to think, you know, it was late, let me see how solve it. But please try to understand, you are not able to solve, you are not able to understand that concept in the last one year, take care, you have spent so many time in the last one year on that particular topic, still you are not able to understand that what's the guarantee that in the short span of time, in one minute, you, will be, you can understand that question and you will be able to understand that. So, I am sure that a lot of people are doing this thing. How many of you are doing this thing? What's the question? So, it's a try to understand. Even if you are not comfortable with that topic. Please avoid all these things here. These are very, very small things, but yes, if you want to increase your speed, avoid all these things. Okay. I always follow this rule. If I am not comfortable, I am not going to attempt that person. Whenever I see any new type of the person, I will not even look at that person. Data will include data. It will not get. So it's all about selecting the person that is very, very important. Alright. So this is what you all should do. While attempting the point section, I will say. Next thing, that is DI, logical reasoning and RC. Up, that's the biggest problem. How to select the DI sets, the logical reasoning sets and the RC sets. For example, if you are getting five passes, okay, five passes, a five passes, you say, call the passes, because in point, it's very, very easy to decide on this point. 
because the questions are varying one line or two lines, you can decide. But in RC, how to identify, in DM, how to identify. So I will say that do not try to attempt any of these three, all right, directly from the first line. Spend time in making the correct choice rather than starting from any questions at random. I said spend around three to four minutes or maybe two to three minutes, take two to three minutes to identify that which all passes you are going to attempt or which all data sets or which all data sets you are going to attempt. Once you have decided, spend focused time on that side. You should not be in a hurry. Like you know, I have decided that I am going to attempt to four, one particular set of this data. So once you have decided that you are going to spend, so spend some time to at least two to four minutes. But again, my point is, like I already told you, the question should be comprehensible. If you are not able to comprehend that in the first day, do not try to attempt that shot. Even in RC or in DM or in LR also. Anything which needs a second reading or third reading, you should try to acquire that in the first round. Take okay, care, initial. No idea of getting from set to set. And it should not be like before that you spend around, okay, five minutes, you spend maybe it's the ASF, okay, you know, really bad, so let's move to the another set, you spend after spending five minutes, you move to the another set. No, it should not be like this. Manage expectations means yes, there might be a process which will easy or difficult. So you need to manage the something. If you are spending around five minutes and if you are, if you are solved, uh, let's say, after spending five minutes, you have got around 60 to 70 percent of the questions, not questions, 60 to 70 percent of the sets, and you have understand everything. So spend some time, definitely you will get the answer. Okay. So do not, DM a second now, Aata ni a ki ke ni aata, it is zero to be here na? Because it's a reading complex, a thousand questions are there, matab, there are only 10 questions, okay, 10 questions which are basically non-MCQ questions. So, but 24 questions so basically is nothing but simply RC. So I say that what five sets of RCs are there, so identify that which all sets we are going to attempt in the first round. That's very, very important for all of you. Okay, so done. So of course second round me I got the I got you can get a second round, but second round because you are attempting, first of all, let's say there are five sets, so identify two to three sets of the RCs. Which all you are going to attack in the first round. Are you getting my point? Siddharth, what are you trying to say? See, you might be might you might be doing like this one that you start attempting each and every question for inner sequence. Okay, question number one, two, three, four, five. Do not do that. Read the passes. Each and if you think you are not comfortable with that, leave it. Passes for naming other time later. I'll say probably just by reading the first paragraph of the passage, you might understand, okay, whether you are able to comprehend that passage or not. And same thing goes for DI and LR also. The moment you read the set quickly, you can understand, okay, this set is So, I might try to solve the question based on that question. Also, it's not necessary, it's not necessary that from one particular set, you should try to solve every question. Like in DI, LRDI, if there is a four question from one of the set. So, if you are able to solve the three questions, and if you are finding four questions to be difficult, please leave that. But I have seen a lot of people who keep set for that 18 percent, so they try to keep, they keep on trying solving fourth question also. For your opinion, I say if there are eight sets in the LRDI, I will probably solve all eight sets, but only two questions from each one of them. Why is it necessary that I should solve all the four questions of a one particular set? Same thing goes for the RC or same thing goes for the LR also. It's not necessary. Identify which one is easier. Varo varani varo. Her set may put questions as a whole way, out of four questions, one of the questions is going to be difficult. It might be possible, the rest of the three are doing well as easy. Yes, it also, in that case, you need to do a lot of practice. And just go for a quick reading, that's it. Or at least you get an idea like that by reading the passages, probably must get a got an idea that, okay, these are the questions from from which area is there, that passes from which subject area. So, depending upon that, you need to select the passage. And that comes naturally when you do a lot of, lot of RC after. That's why it's in just practice. So, just practice, you need to do 
everyone needs to practice. Everyone needs to practice. Always remember one thing. And there is no shortcut for that. Okay. In LRDIs, it might take the help of the options also. At times, a lot of questions can be also believable. You are attempting the LRDI questions, but go through the options also. also first. From the options, you might get a hint also. Okay. So, even Virat Kohli, Virat Kohli, because he is doing it every day and night, he is doing a lot of practice. Okay. So, that, that is very, very important. Now, common problems which people face in QA or today or LR or GAP, the number of attempts are very low, the accuracy is low, my attempts and accuracy are in mostly proportional, not able to do justice to my ability, hence, I am scoreless. I think this is the problem. A lot of people think, okay, Matthew, all the persons attend, etc., but I am not able to. Yeah. Time management is a big problem. Okay. Though I can solve all the questions when I am at home, but not able to do so in a mock or under time cluster. The issue I show that a lot of people are facing these issues. If they know the issue face that then the question goes out there. But my case mock when you are there. Yes, that happens with everyone with a time cluster. So I say that's what's important just practice the key mentally that make the other value that is very, very important. Okay. Kind of a hit and miss in the section is post keep on varying. I'm sure that a lot of people are facing this problem also. At times the mocks and keys, sometimes the mock scores are getting decreased. Okay. And the one thing is the last thing. You are just not able to score. Which we can do very school at the end of the year. Okay. So these are the very, very common problem which almost everyone is facing that Everyone is facing. Okay. Following may be the reason of the person not doing well on a consistent basis. What might be the reason? He do not recognize your strength and weaknesses. So that's why I keep saying it's very important that at this particular stage to identify what are your strength areas and what are your weaknesses. Okay. Now, if you haven't practiced much. I'm sure that a lot of you have not practiced enough. You have not started writing the walk or you have not given the writing a test in a particular time constant. Start doing that. It just don't get it at times, even though you have a good hang over the basics. Yes, that might be the issue with few people. You waste a lot of time in attempting difficult questions which lead to a low attempt. How many people are facing this problem? That you try to attempt difficult questions. Why? No try to answer difficult questions out when you Are you going to get some extra mark or solve some difficult questions? Please tell me. Party, Asha, and Tibet. So, extra mark will get again. May we get again? So, why you all are trying to attempt the difficult questions? Why not find the some easier questions? Okay. Always remember one thing you will not, never get any extra marks for solving the most difficult question in the class. Which means they got Okay, my target is not my, all of you should target to solve easy and easy questions. That's it. And you can identify easy questions easily if you practice a lot. Okay, so you can make this is at a time which leads to lower accuracy. Ha, VARC may ho sakta because I agree with you. In VARC, it might be difficult to identify because. In BRC, one is never sure about the answers. In quant, you will be able to, you are at least sure that your answers are correct. In LRDA, you at least you are sure. But in English, you will never be sure about the answers of English. Okay. Do not make guesswork. Never. So, what should I do? Kick it. I generally don't study for this section at all. I just attempt the mocks one or two sections of office test. That is it. Okay. So my simple logic is here that you cannot learn aptitude in a space of one month or something. It is something which has been built over the past 20 years. Okay. 
but you can definitely improve it. She cannot become a squat of ready population in just one lot of years. Yes, that's not possible at all. As I put to be here. But yes, you can definitely give your best to improve it over the period of time. So this is what we all need to do now. Just give me a minute. Now we'll solve a one mock. So I when you say, uh, I'll solve one mock in front of you, especially the QA section that. So if you have 75% so, so you should act this. Therefore, it depends in deeper. But what are your scores? It depends. If you have 75% score ho or kya ho, please the answer. That, that is the thing, yeah. whether it is correct or not. You must have written box, so if you are 75% sure of the answer, so whether in actual or in reality, whether that answer is correct or not, please tell me. Who is that? And then probably you can go for that in that case, I think. But if you are very much confused among the two options, how accurate is the mock percentile? Accurate, okay? Probably if you are getting somewhere close to agar yahan pe jitni aar hai, isse thodi jada hi aengi in the actual box for this. Okay? Now, so let's start solving a mock here. I'm just going to solve a point section and show it to you. Take care. Ki how to, when I say that you need to attempt the point section in two rounds, then how you should attempt. The questions that is very very important. Okay. So since it is online, so what the only pro problem which I might face is okay, on the screen, okay, screen writing is not very much effective on the WebEx too. Still I'll try. Let's see. Let me share my desktop. Okay, can you all see the screen? Please tell me yes or no. So here it is my screen here. Uh, okay. So we'll solve in the mock. On some mock, correct? I'm sure that you must have written two, three, four. So write out, right? So submit two, three, four. Ready, yeah? Okay. So probably among these first three will solve in box. Solve to Y2. Rashid Turukaru solve to the top. Four stuff to work at it. So like I already told you, it's not about whether the paper is tough or easy. Never. It's not about whether if the paper is tough or easy. It's a good certain matter. Four to be strategy first and solve second. It doesn't matter. Take a, whether the question paper is tough or question paper is easy, no. It's all about how to write the paper. That that is very very important. Take a, whether the paper is tough or easy, it's a good part of it. Just keep one thing in mind. If it is tough, it is going to be tough for everyone. If it is easy, it is going to be for easy for everyone. That's it. That is very much important here. It doesn't matter which mock you are solving. Whether on the CAP, CAP website any mock has been uploaded, they usually upload one mock. Has any website been uploaded? Has it been Samples. No, I don't think they have uploaded it. Right. All right, so tell me. In cat zero two zero three zero four call call or zero five zero six zero ten or Agi Wale seventeen sixteen fifteen. So it's available. It doesn't matter. You can take any one. No, I am not going to take zero two rounds. Two rounds, zero two. How does that matter? Yeah, zero two rounds, zero three rounds, zero four rounds, zero five rounds. So what does that matter?
धीरे से ही ले लो हाँ तो क्यों क्या अभी तक दो अभी तक सारे होने चाहिए किसी ने नहीं क्या बहुत सारे लोगों ने टू भी नीचे रखा है बहुत सारे लोगों ने तो वन भी नीचे आ तो हाउ डज दैट मैटर मैं यहाँ पे पांच क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर भी दूंगा तुम्हारे सामने तो क्या गारंटी है कि तुम्हारे उस मॉक में स्कोर अच्छे आ जाएंगे चल लो इधर एनी गारंटी कोई गारंटी नहीं है ना so and and of course in the first player i am cat player look of course in the first player i am cat player look because i am not going to solve in the i am cat player look i'll tell you the reason because so usme i do not know directly can i switch to the question so no yahi dekhta hu so just just the mock to the yeah, i mean to see कौन सा है कौन सा नहीं होगा स्विच ओके है ना इसमें स्विच नहीं होगा डायरेक्टली इफ इट इज इन दिस प्लेयर सो वी कॉन्ट स्विच यस दैट्स राइट आई कॉन्ट स्विच टू द थर्ड सेक्शन डायरेक्टली इस प्लेयर में नहीं हो पाए ठीक है वैसे होना चाहिए यू ऑल शुड ऑलवेज गिव इन दिस प्लेयर ऑनली ठीक है वेन एवर यू आर राइटिंग मॉक यू ऑल शुड गिव दिस दिस प्लेयर इन द मॉक ऑनली राइट वैसे ये सेव फॉर लेटर का चॉइस यहाँ पे बट रिमेम्बर वन थिंग इन द एक्चुअल मॉक यू नॉट बी गेटिंग चॉइस फॉर द सेव फॉर लेटर तो समय नहीं जा सकता हूँ सबमिट भी नहीं कर सकता हूँ ये ऑप्शन भी बटन भी डिसेबल है नहीं दिस बटन इज ऑल्सो आई कैन सबमिट सेव फॉर लेटर Yes, I can pick one QA section and test of one hour. Yes, sir. No, it may be thirty-four percent here, sir. Yes, sir. My classic player look. Let me check. In classic player look, can I move to the third section directly or not? Now you all can start noting the time, which is very very important. Okay, okay, I I will start after two minutes. I think here I can move to the third section directly. Yes or no? Okay. So just give me two minutes. I'm just coming in two minutes, and then I'll start following the third section in front of you.
Okay, so should we start now? Please tell me. Yes or no? I think the only problem which I might face here is the usually has a lot of Okay, that is screen writing actually at times this screen writing automatically gets deleted after writing the solutions sometimes it gets deleted but I'll try to do all the calculations also on the screen only. Okay. All right. I'm just checking the functionality. Okay, so should we move to the screen now? Should I start solving now? You all are ready? Okay. So you all can note the time, keep a tab on the time here, section two. Section three. Uh, okay, this is section two, I think. All right. Let's move to section three. The yes, section three. So let's start now section three. In a company, 121 people are going. So, this question is the best on. Am I audible now? Okay, already is checker me eight minute waste to ya. All right, so anyway, let's move to the next question. I'm not comfortable. Maybe I will try this one. Okay, I am very much comfortable. It says PT or ST use a regular hexagon. What is the area of the triangle PTU? Okay, so like I said, that I might take a lot of time in writing on the screen. So normal is other time the level. I need to find out the area of the triangle PTU so I can join that is PTU okay PTU to the A and what is the ratio of the area of triangle PTU to PUS that is PUS okay PUS okay each side of the regular polygon is nothing but that is this one all right so PTU is nothing but that is equal to 1 by 6 of the area of the hexagon and PUS PUS what is the area of the triangle PUS so PUS is nothing but a half and again in this case it will be comes out to be this is 6 this is equal to 12 and this is like I said this is the issue which I usually face. Likhne ke baad sab delete ho jata hai. But probably I might try to solve this question. This is PUS. I need to find out the area of this triangle. Okay.
So P U L. Okay. Still bothering them. Just wait. Area of triangle PTU to PTU. Paint is not there, na? That's the issue. Paint yahan pe hai nahi actually. On MacBook, paint is not there. So, all right. So we know that this figure is divided into this mini part here. So. This area and this area. The answer is equal to 1 by e. Okay, and area of the triangle PTU. So PTU, PTU is 1 by 6. Okay, and the area of the triangle PUS, PUS, this is one triangle. Okay, and I'll get this one. That is equal to 2 by 6. So the answer should be 1 by 2. Ideally, do not change it. So PTU to PUS, the answer should be 1 is to 2. That is none of these. We can mark the answer as none of these. Let's move to the next one. Next question. Okay. Next. How many factors of x are in the form of 6k square? I am very much comfortable with that topic. So probably I can try this question, solving this question. Divide by 6. So if I divide by 6, this will be, comes out to be how much? 4 is to power 4 is nothing but that is 2 is to power 8. 5 is to power 6. 6 is to power 5, that is 6 is to power 4. That is 2 is to power 4 into 3 is to power 4 into 8 is to power 8 is nothing but that is 2 is to power 25. I have divided by 6, so that is here. So power of 2 is 24 plus 4 is equal to 28. 28 plus 8 is 36. So 2 is to power 36 into 3 is to power 4 into 5 is to power 6. All of them are perfect as well. So 0, 2, 4, and 3, 36. 36. How many numbers are there? That is 18. 19 into take a 0, 2, and 4. That is 19 into 3. And 5 is to power 6. 0, 2, 4, 6, that is 4 into 7 is to power 10, that is 5 plus 1, that is 6. So, answer should be 19 into 3 into 4 into 6. So, 6 4 is the 24 is 4, 4 3 is the 4 plus 2, 2 9 plus 8 to 8. Last digit should be 8, answer can't be option number 1, answer can't be option number 2. So, the answer has to be 1, 3, 6, 8, 4, 6, 10. I need to, because one of the options is none of these, so multiply this one. 4 3 is the 12, 12 6 plus 78, 78 into 20 minus 178 is 82 is 160, 160 minus 4 is equal to 15560 1, minus 78. 78 into, okay, 4 3 is 12, 12 3 is 78, I need to do 78 into 90. No? 9 is 72. Last digit is 2, so answer is option 4. None of these should be the answer. Let's move to the next question. Okay, I, I can come back and I can see whether it might be a calculation error. Theke, theke, I'll say mark option number two. What is for which value? I am comfortable, but I will not try to solve this question because it's going to be very much calculation issue. Okay, option the smallest triangle. I need to draw a figure. I'll leave this question. Three dots and this one. What is the ratio of the length and what is the ratio of the length? Okay, I might try to solve this question because I'm comfortable with this topic. Um, yes, sir. Yeah. What does it say? Three dots containing milk and water in the ratio. This and this. Okay. Two is to three. Three is to two. Okay. So two is to three. Three is to two and five is to three. If the ratio of the volume of the dot is one is to two is to three. Two plus three is five. Three plus two is five. Five plus four is nine. So I'll multiply it by 9 into 9 into 5. All of them are equal. Right. Into 1 into 2 into 3. What is the ratio of milk and water in the mixture by mixing these contents? So 9 times are 45. Okay. So this is already 5. So I need to multiply it by 9 into 1. 9 to the 18. Okay. This is 9 to the 18. 18 to 3 is 54. And then 5 to the 15. 15 5 to the 75. So what is the ratio of milk and water in the mixture by so this is 18, 54 and 75. What is 18, 54, 18 for the 72, 72 plus 75 is 150, 150 minus 3 is 147. 147 is the multiple of four, how much? 49. Answer should be option number 2. Please mark you the answers option number 2. Can I move? Let's move to the next question then. After that. A square, A, B, C, D and this one. Okay. Seems to be 
I say I need to draw a figure and come back to this question. How many digits are there in the expression? Okay, this is divided by number of digits that by that is the I mean. Am I clear now? Actually, the buttons are galat galat bata hai. Anyway, just see. I am comfortable with this topic, so I might try to solve this question. So, 64 log 3 minus 0.75 log 2. So, log 3 is nothing but 0.477. So, 64 into 0.4771 minus 0.75 into. Okay. If you have written it, you all can do a calculation and tell me because this annotation tool always gives me some problem. Okay. Yes. So it was 64 log 3 minus 0.75 log 2. So 64 into log 3 is 0.4771 minus log 2 0.75 into 0.3010. You can take the help of the calculator on your screen. If you get something here, so just take it. That is 30.30. So 30.30. What should be the answer? 30 or 31. Characteristic plus one. The answer is 31. होना चाहिए. Mark 31. Let's move to the next question then. Okay. X Y Z number system. I am might be comfortable. The three digit expression. Okay. Lot of information are given. Might be somewhat lengthy. Let's move. ठीक है सम फ्रेंड्स मोर देन टू लाइक्स आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू अटेंड द लेंथ एंड ब्रेड दिस सीम्स टू बी इजी इट्स अ सिंपल रेक्टेंगल सो आई माइट गिव अ ट्राई ओके द लेंथ एंड द ब्रेड ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल आर इन द रेशियो 7:5 7:5 व्हाट इज द लेंथ व्हेन 7x एंड 5x व्हेन द लेंथ ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल इज इंक्रीज बाय 5 यूनिट्स एंड द ब्रेड इज डिक्रीज बाय 3 यूनिट्स द एरिया डिक्रीज बाय 4 स्क्वायर यूनिट्स द एरिया डिक्रीज बाय Four square units. Okay, so initial I can say that is seven x plus five. Okay, seven x plus five into what was the other value? Five x minus three minus seven x into five x. That is equal to nothing but that is equal to four. So seven five plus thirty five, thirty five it will get cancelled. So seven into five, thirty five x square, thirty five x square will get cancelled. So I get five five plus twenty five, seven three plus twenty one. That is 4x. 4x minus 15 is equal to 4. So 4x minus 15 is equal to 4. So plus 5 and decreased by 3 units. Area decreased by 4 square. Area decreased by 4 square. So the difference of okay. I did. Let me tell it. Initial area. So this is minus 4. This is minus 4. All right. Length is 7x. Breadth is 5x. So this is minus 4. So 35x square, 35x square will get cancelled. So I'll get here this term is 5 threes of 15 and 5 threes of 15 minus 15. Yes, that's right. Minus 15 as I got and this one. Answer is 66. That's right. Let's move to the next question then. Yes, 4x equal to 11. Set E has 12 elements. Set B has 17. What is the minimum number of elements? The answer is option number four. Let's move to the next question. The number of ways to arrange n strings in a row is x, where x is equal to no two other strings. X. Let's move to the next question. Very lengthy. Move to the next question. If n is the largest multiple of 55 that can be formed by using all the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 once, find the sum of the last three digits of the n. Okay. So if we need to solve this question, let's see whether we will be able to solve. Somewhat comfortable with this question. If n is the largest multiple of 55 that can be formed by using all the digits here, multiple of 55, so the last digit it has to be equal to 5 or 0. There is no other possibility here. Okay, and it has to be a multiple of 11. So lot of cases are possible. Find the sum of the last three digits here. Okay, so lot of cases are there, and n is the largest multiple of 55. So n is the multiple of 5 as well as the multiple of 11. So it's better to leave. Lot of possibilities are there. I can come back in the second round. See the milkman, very lengthy, lengthy question. 
in a seven match series between india and england the probability of india winning the match what is the probability of india winning the pool match seven match series here okay. so answer should be india can seven match series so 7c5 into okay 7c5 Can you all mark the answer as option number one? Am I audible now? Yes. So you can mark the answer as option number one. I think 35 into 3 to the power 4 upon 4 to the power 4. Let's move to the next question then. Okay. Very lengthy question. Leave that. Okay. In a triangle, just let me in a triangle have you please do it. PF is the median, Q is the median to the side, PQ, QR and RQ. If GD is equal to nothing but that is equal to 8 by 3 and PR is equal to 11, P to R is equal to 11 and QR is equal to 13, Q to R is equal to 13, what is the length of the side? PQ, this is median, okay, it's based on the simple, it's a median, so you can use the Apollonius theorem, later on, figure draw kind of arena, okay, lengthy, lengthy, let's move to the next question, if every complicated lengthy what is the which of these four values is equal to the diagonal of a square having its area equal to that of a rhombus having its diagonal size 20, 12 and 14 not a very complicated figure i might give a five like this one. which of these will be equal to the diagonal of a square so having its area equal to the rhombus having its Square having its area equal to that of a rhombus. So, area of a rhombus is equal to half into 12 into 14. That is equal to a root 2. Alright, square k inside. This is the diagonal of a square having its area. Okay, which is also diagonal is equal to half into diagonal is x into x. So, this half and half will get cancelled. So, 12 into 14 uh, root, square root, square root of 12 into 14. So that will be 4 into 3 into 2 into 7. 7 is our twenty. That is 2 root 43. Option number 1. Let's move to the next question. Move to the next question, all of you. Option number 1. 92. Okay, this is the equation of a circle. Point, this point passes through the circle. What is the value of B? If this point passes through the circles, then you must satisfy the equation. Easy. Seems to be easy. Not very much calculation. So, 2 and 2, 2 square is equal to 4 and minus 2 plus square, that is again 4, 2 here, minus 2x, minus 2a plus minus 10 into minus 2 is minus 20 and b is nothing plus b, it is equal to 0. So, 4 plus 4 is 16, 16 minus 20 is minus 4, so minus 2a plus b, it is equal to minus 4. Someone should write down, otherwise it might be possible, maybe it will say, then you say that. It is passing through minus 1 and minus 5. So 1, 5 square is equal to 25 minus 1 into A. Yes, I think I have a calculation check. Karunga. A x is 2. So 2 square, 2 square is 4. Minus 2A minus plus 10 Y. So minus 20 minus 20 and plus B. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 minus 12. 8 minus 20. 8 minus 20 is equal to minus 12. So minus 12, which should be equal to plus 12. Is that right now? 1 plus 25. So 1 plus 25 minus 1. Minus x is minus 1. So plus 8 minus 5. 10 into minus 5 is equal to minus 50 plus b equal to 0. So 26, 26 minus 50. So I'm getting a plus b is equal to 26 minus 50 is minus 24. So that is 24 and then minus 2a plus b that is equal to nothing but that is equal to 12. Just I multiply this by 2a. 2a plus 2b is equal to 24 into 2 is 48. I add these two so I will get 3b. 
pb is equal to nothing but 24 to the 48 plus 12 60 b is 20 so the answer is 20 mark 20 all of you please mark 20 and let's move to the next question all right the ratio okay that seems to be a very very easy one so if you observe just keep on observing me that we we are able to find out the easy question in the last not in the beginning the ratio of the monthly income of rama and krishna is 4 is to 5 so 4 and 5 and the ratio of the saving is equal to 3 and 4 if rama spends 3 by 4 of the income what is the ratio of the expenditure okay so it says 4x and i can say this is equal to 5x if the rama spends 3 by 4 of the income so this is income 3 by 4 of the income so he spends 3x so his what is the ratio of the expenditure of rama and krishna so this is rama and krishna savings is in the ratio 3 to 4 uh, okay so 4x minus his expenditure okay that's fine so we the ratio of monthly income of rama and krishna is 4 is to 5 if the rama spends 3 by if the result is 2 it must be true for any value so i think i could take probably 40 and equal to 40 and 50 so you can 40 and 50 rama spends 3 by 4 of his income no i cannot take it Saving is 3 to 4. So, income minus expenditure. Income minus expenditure. This time. Income minus expenditure is equal to saving. So, 4x minus 3x. Krishna is 5x minus 8. They are in the ratio 3 to 4. Alright. Expenditure is 3 to 4. Like that. So, this is equal to 4 to the 16. Okay. 4x minus 3x upon 5x minus k. If his expenditure is k, 4x is equal to 15x. This is a equation. You all can again cross check. Four x may say three four so that will be x upon five x minus k is equal to ratio three to four. So four x is equal to fifteen x plus ten. Question is not very easy, but I am sure that some of you have written the equation and solved it earlier. That is nine by eleven. Okay, okay. So I am marking nine by eleven. After solving that, you can get the answer as nine by eleven. Let's move to the next one. Rahim wants to give something. In how many is 8 identical chocolates? Okay, 8 identical chocolates. We need two partition, 10 feet. So, 8 identical chocolates to 3 children from his. This one. So, 10 feet to the answer is 45. Mark 45. Move to the next question. Next. Two friends. Time balloon. On a triangle, I need to draw a figure. Time balloon. 3 persons. On a. Time consuming. Okay, time consuming. That's not a good question. Time consuming. Leave that. Okay, I'm not comfortable with this one. Leave that. That's it. And finish the test. Submit. Okay, uh, sorry. You can close this window. Let's close this window. Report section. Okay, we have not marked the answers, but now you can cross check the answers which you have attempted. Whether anyone has written that, someone has written the answer key, which which question number, because I have not written here, I have not marked it. So, probably we can check whether our answer is right or wrong, which all question numbers were there in the quantitative activity. 67. No, leave that. Question number 68, whether, he has, whether we had attempted, the correct answer will be marked as of 1 is to 2, I think many 1 is to 2 calculate kiata if you have remember, yes or no, so that was correct, question number 6, so 1 correct, Take care. we have attempted this one also, I think 1, 3, 6, 8, yes, option number 2, All right. we have not attempted this one, two question attempt kiate. Whether we try to attempt, no. Whether we try to attempt, yes. I mark my answer as option number two. Let's see. Yes, that's a correct answer. So we have attempted three questions till now. All three correct. Then, not 73. 
ये हमने अटेम्प्ट किया था वी हैव रिटर्न द आंसर एज 31 लेट्स सी वेदर इट इज राइट और नॉट वी हैव 31 सो फोर क्वेश्चंस वी हैव अटेम्प्टेड टिल नाउ फोर ये अटेम्प्ट नहीं किया था ये अटेम्प्ट नहीं किया था ये किया था एंड वी हैव मार्क्ड आई थिंक आंसर क्या मार्क किया था इसका ऑप्शन सी 66 ऑप्शन सी फाइव क्वेश्चन वी आर नॉट यस सेवेंटीन मार्क्स किया था इसमें दैट वॉज राइट सिक्स क्वेश्चन वी आर नॉट अटेम्पेड दिस 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 दिस मीन किया था ये अटेम्प्ट किया था ऑप्शन वन कहा था मैंने यस तो सेवन क्वेश्चन वी आर नॉट अटेम्पेड दिस सेवन वन एटी फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर 86 ये भी अटेम्प्ट नहीं किया था बट वी नो द मेथड ये भी अटेम्प्ट नहीं किया था 87 वी हैव नॉट अटेम्प्टेड 88 वी हैव नॉट अटेम्प्टेड नॉट अटेम्प्टेड नॉट अटेम्प्टेड नॉट अटेम्प्टेड ये हैव अटेम्प्टेड ऑप्शन 1 सो यस दैट्स राइट कितने क्वेश्चंस हो गए अभी तक टोटल व्हिच वी हैव अटेम्प्टेड एंड गॉट इट राइट 8 एंड 8 राइट वी हैव अटेम्प्टेड दिस वन ओके दैट वाज 20 यही आया था क्या यस ट्वेंटी सो नाइन अटेम्प्टेड नाइन करेक्ट वी हैव अटेम्प्टेड दिस वन फर्स्ट ऑप्शन दैट्स राइट टेन अटेम्प्टेड टेन करेक्ट वी हैव अटेम्प्टेड यस दिस इज इलेवन वी हैव नॉट अटेम्प्टेड दिस वन नॉट अटेम्प्टेड नॉट अटेम्प्टेड नॉट अटेम्प्टेड नॉट अटेम्प्टेड ओके नाउ वॉट इज द टोटल टाइम विच वी हैव स्पेंड ऑन दिस can we do the time allocation time kitna spend kiya tha total time usme aata hai na so we just wait how much time we have spent in total on this pie chart 20 minutes yes or no 20 51 20 minutes all right now so ideally if you observe here now the thing which i wanted to actually say is not about solving the questions right or not theek hai in 20 minutes theek hai in 20 minutes we solved 11 questions and 11 correct okay and you must have observed the point was you must have observed me that how i have selected the question ha uh, you can probably subtract around 5 to 6 minutes you can subtract 5 to 6 minutes because of lot of issues theek hai because of this writing on the screen usually would it keeps on deleting or bahut sari issues hai theek hai so if i say approximately 15 minutes 11 question so this is what i want to tell you that there are lot of questions which i even Not looked at that particular question. Observed, yes, sir. Bahot sare questions. I have not taken even a more than a fraction of second to decide that I am not going to attend those questions. This is what I am expecting from you also. Most of the you, what you try to do, you read the questions and then you leave the questions. No, you should not do that. पढ़ने के बाद सोने का कोई मतलब नहीं है. See the questions. ठीक है. If you if it is not striking, see the questions. See the topic. Okay. As, at times, it happens with me that I have seen the question of this from this area. I am not going to attempt. It is from this area. It is very lengthy. I am not going to attempt. It might be easy that the questions which we have left, they are very easy. Go sir, there are many so many questions which are easy. But then there is always a second round. In in the second round, probably I will read the questions and then I try to attempt this one. And believe me, okay, it might be possible that this was easy. So we are able to identify the eleven questions in the fifteen minutes. ठीक है इन सम ऑफ दी केसेस इन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स यू माइट बी नॉट बी एबल टू डू इलेवन क्वेश्चन यू माइट बी एबल टू डू अराउंड सेवन टू एट क्वेश्चन द पेपर इज वेरी वेरी टफ बट ऑन एन एवरेज माई एक्सपीरियंस इज दैट अराउंड इन फर्स्ट फिफ्टीन मिनट्स यू विल बी एबल टू अटेम्प्ट टेन टू ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन बट दैट कम्स विद अ प्रैक्टिस नॉट ओनली द प्रैक्टिस दैट ओनली कम्स वेन यू आर एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई वॉट इज योर स्ट्रेंथ इंडिया एंड वॉट इज योर वीक एरिया सो दैट्स वाई आई कीप सिंग टू ईच वन ऑफ यू identify your strengths and identify your weaknesses and that's why i have given a chart to you and whatever the questions that i have solved we have solved in the class that is more than enough and boost camp mein jitne ke that is more than enough 
इसके अलावा और अलग अलग वेरियस प्रोसेस सॉल्व करने की जरूरत है जस्ट स्टार्ट राइटिंग द मॉक्स एंड मॉक्स दैट्स इट मॉक्स एंड द सेक्शन टेस्ट दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके एंड आई थिंक हियर्स व्हेन समवन हैज ओके एंड आल्सो आई एम नॉट शेयरिंग एनी स्क्रीन हियर बट दैट आई कैन डू इंडिविजुअल वन टू वन बेसिस ठीक है दैट यू कैन आल्सो चेक हियर दैट हाउ मच टाइम देयर इज अ इसका फॉर्मेट थोड़ा सा चेंज हो गया है एनालिसिस का लाइक हियर इन दिस बार ग्राफ यू कैन प्रोबेबली गेट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स दैट हाउ मच टाइम यू आर स्पेंडिंग ऑन द इन करेक्ट आंसर ठीक है यहां पर तो चार्ट नहीं आ रही बिकॉज वी आर नॉट अटेंटेड लॉट मेनी प्रोसेस यू कैन गेट इच वन ऑफ यू टू लुक एट द चार्ट आई विल से टू ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज ट्राई टू ऑब्जर्व दिस चार्ट very very good we spend around half an hour on this particular chart for each and every mock to understand that where what all mistakes you are committing kahan pe tumhe problem aa rahi hai and if you need my help probably we can discuss on a one to one basis with each one of you i can recommend that that's not an issue but now i think you all have got an idea uh, it's all about leaving the question i keep saying to everyone in fact theek hai it's not about attempting the question you should learn how to leave that is very very important you can learn how to leave questions theek hai na ye hame nahi aata hai this is where we all are actually like we always try to attempt each and every question so i i say learn how to leave the question that this is what i have shown to you if i am not competent with dot topic i have left lot of questions just by simply within a one second i have decided that i will not attempt with the first one and each one of us you can do i say start practicing follow this method this technique in at least couple of mocks one or two mocks theek hai follow karo teen char mocks mein because we have got enough mocks 25 mocks hai. and then if you think okay that this strategy is not working for you do not do not follow this strategy this strategy se tumhare marks aa rahe hai zyada because everyone has some different type of this strategy and you can do that but yes if you want to speak score more in point you can absolutely score more in we have solved 11 questions out of 34 or 32 kitne questions the 34 i think remaining is 23 questions then i can spend around 45 minutes in the on the remaining 33 questions me you might get a third round also third round bhi aata hai second round mein again i'll try to solve the familiar questions and this one dekho yes we are asking with this method will not work actually to be very frank yes sir in vrp and lrdi this method will not work therefore what will happen in case of lrdi and vrp na you need to read because it's a set of the questions five question ka ek set hota hai na so we cannot decide at the very moment that okay but yes what you can do is in vrp and in the lrdi that you can spend around first three to four minutes to go through all the passes to go through all the passes or to go through all the lrdi sets matlab just read 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 theek hai and then you can note it down in your scratch paper that which all passages you are going to attempt which all lrdi sets you are going to attempt and then try to solve this ye problem hai that's the problem with we are seeing lrdi dono section ke sath that's the biggest issue so familiarity also play a major role so you should be very very much familiar with this ठीक है समवन हु इज वेरी वेरी एक्सपर्ट इंग्लिश के लिए तो उनके लिए तो वो दे विल स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन हियर बट हियर आल्सो इन इंग्लिश एंड वी आर सी आई से इन इंग्लिश एंड एल आर डी आई वी आर सी विश ओके ठीक है एंड एल आर डी आई स्पेंड अराउंड थ्री टू फाइव मिनट्स आई से स्पेंड अराउंड फाइव मिनट्स इन डिसाइडिंग दे आर स्टॉल डिसाइडिंग दैट विच ऑल पैसेज यू आर गोइंग टू अटेम्प्ट एंड विच ऑल सेट्स यू आर गोइंग टू डू एंड देन स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग ठीक है इंस्टेड ऑफ वेस्टिंग टाइम ऑन ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ एल आर डी ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ पैसेज ये करना पड़ेगा ये इशूज है इंग्लिश और एल आर डी ये बिकॉज यू कैनॉट फॉलो दिस स्टैंडी फॉर द अदर क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ इफ एट एनी क्वेरीज और एनी डाउट प्लीज टेल मी जस्ट स्टॉप टू शेयरिंग दिन ओके so 
just if there is anyone who wants to ask me any questions, please tell me. Nahi hai. There is no question, so should we end the session? Please tell me. Achha. Am I audible to all of you? Yes, yes. The other thing which I'll say is that, like you all know, that I'm going to take a third boost camp also. Take the third boost camp. Uh, I think I have already told you the dates of the third boost camp. Kya tha date? Can anyone tell me? 28th of October to which date till which date? Fourth number for seven or eight days. Do will be doing for one week. Okay. What we are going to do every day starting at exactly 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Okay. In this boost camp, the agenda of this boost camp is that we we'll focus more on the test. Okay. We'll be discussing, we'll be doing mock live. Maybe tomorrow saath karwa, but of course, we'll not say each one of you do, we do the separately on the mock. I will also write a mock with you. Okay. 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Daily we'll write down mocks. Okay. After that, taking a break for half an hour, we'll be analyzing each and every mock thoroughly. Now, the next point which comes that how to analyze the mock. When you are writing a mock, how to analyze that mock, that is very, very important. So whenever you are writing any mock for three hours, you can, uh, let me see if this screen once again. Okay. Let me close this one. Once you complete the mock, you can try to solve all the unattempted questions. Launch it. Okay. You have spent three hours. Okay, that's perfectly okay. You can take a break for an entire day or whatever the time you need. Okay. After that, instead of going, okay, instead of uh, solving each and every question, you can go for the unattended question. Or probably you can go to the report section. You can see your scores and everything. That is perfectly okay. okay. You can check your scores and everything. Do not look at the solutions and then go for unattended and then launch it the all the unattempted questions and try to write all the unattempted questions jitne bhi hai without any time constraint without any time constraint try to solve all the questions and just see take a which all questions which you are able to attempt but ye without here and then you should go and look for the solutions then probably it will help you okay that why you are not able to solve these questions which are easy in the actual when you are writing the mock Actually, so jitne bhi questions hai, jitne bhi unattempted questions hai, do not directly look at the solutions, try to solve it on your own. That is very, very important. I know assuming that all of you are going to do that. That jitne bhi all the unattempted questions, you should try to solve it on your own without any time. And just see how much more you are able to attempt. Or kitne attempt who is affected. And where, which, Okay, what all mistakes you have committed? Exactly. That is very, very important. Okay. And we'll be doing the mock number. I'll say, remember, it depends. If, if you're prepared well, so around 10 to 12 mock is more than enough. Then. If you're prepared well enough, so 10 to 10, 10 to 12 mock is more than enough to identify and uh, to make a strategy and everything. That's it. I've seen a lot of people. They are not able to attempt even more than five to six more overall, but they are still sitting in the IM and like that. So that, but yes, their preparation was they are prepared very well. So if you're prepared well, okay, eight to ten more nikloge, that will give you a fair idea about your performance and everything. That's it. To make a strategy and everything. Okay, we will be doing mock eleven to mock twenty in that next week. Take it mock level to mock 20. Okay, yes, English I'll talk to Rahul sir. Take it. Or in any case, that we are going to do is your live. Next boost campaign, so we'll be doing that for everyone. English here of part and everything. Okay, but if you want to, uh, this week, 
तो प्रोबेबली आई अरे यू दिस और मे बी ऑन नेक्स्ट संडे ठीक है वे राहुल कैन राहुल सर कैन सॉल्व वन मॉक इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इन दिस सेक्शन दिवाली के टाइम दिवाली कब है दिवाली टूडे इज वॉट एटीन ना आई थिंक आई एम टॉकिंग वॉट नेक्स्ट संडे टूडे इज वॉट डेट टूडे इज वॉट डेट एट ना एट सेवन फिफ्टीन तो फिफ्टींथ ऑफ अक्टूबर को मैं रख देता हूँ इंग्लिश के लिए नेक्स्ट संडे रहने दो तो चलो बाद में ओके okay. Another thing is that NMAT. Lot of you guys are writing the NMAT, so we'll be starting now from tomorrow. NMAT specific session. Okay, alternative. So I'll be taking three LR sections, which is related with the NMAT specific. Basically, that is blood relationship. So easy is one of them. Blood relationship or what? What is that? Direction based questions and all these things. Input output. Yes, I'll take input output as well as food and diet. So in any case, I use it as well as fact inference judgment. I think fact inference judgment is not a part, but a strong and weak argument, coding, decoding. So we we'll discuss all this this week. Okay, so this week will be dedicated completely to Narsi Mundi specific. Okay, na Monday to Friday, Rath. Okay, specifically to Narsi. Cat may be cat wale or IIT wale bhi kar sakte. IIT may be thoda bahut special cat. सचिन सिंह सर कब तक प्रैक्टिस करना है यू किस टाइम के बाद न्यू क्वेश्चन देखना बंद कर दे किस टाइम के बाद न्यू क्वेश्चन देखना बंद कर दे आई से प्रोबेबली आफ्टर थर्ड बूस्ट कैंप देखना बंद कर दे नए क्वेश्चन नए टॉपिक पढ़ना बंद कर दे फ्रॉम द नवंबर ऑनर्स आफ्टर दी एट द एंड ऑफ द अक्टूबर नवंबर ऑनर्स ना स्टॉप लुकिंग फॉर रीडिंग द न्यू टॉपिक जो भी करना है अक्टूबर में कर लो नवंबर में नए टॉपिक्स कर लो जीके के लिए डू नॉट वरी आई विल स्टार्ट विद जीके आई सेंड यू द लॉट ऑफ डेटा बेस ठीक है सो एनी अदर डाउट्स ये सो शुड आई लॉग आउट नाउ सो वन टू वन वी कैन लाइक आई टोल्ड यू फ्रॉम टुमारो ऑनवर्ड्स आई विल बी अवेलेबल ऑनलाइन ठीक है आई शेयर द लिंक इन द मॉर्निंग तुमको जो भी डाउट्स डिस्कस करने हैं वन टू वन वेब कैम अपना मेक सो दैट यूर वेब कैम हमारे पास हो एंड यू कैन डिस्कस विद यू यस इन मैट स्पेसिफिक एट नाइन थर्टी पी एम ऑनली इन द नाइट या कब शाम को सात बजे कर दू सेवन टू नाइन वी चल नहीं आई डोंट हैव एनी इशूज नाइन थर्टी टू इलेवन थर्टी ठीक है इन मैट एंड स्नैप स्पेसिफिक मतलब यू कैन यूज इट फॉर द कैट ऑल्सो कैट में भी अगर वैसे क्वेश्चन आ जाए तो ठीक है अदरवाइज एडमेट एंड स्नैप एंड प्राइवेट ओके गाइस सो चलो गुड डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू यस ओके मतलब देखो स्क्रीन शेयर तो तुम अभी भी कर सकते हो बट आई यूजली डू नॉट प्रोवाइड द राइट्स ना आई कैन नॉट गिव यू सो मेनी पीपल सो एक्सेज योर स्क्रीन तो लोग आपस में स्क्रीन शेयर हाँ आर इज लॉजिकल डी आई है वो तो करते रहेंगे दैट्स नॉट एन एंड लॉजिकल डी आई वी है लॉर्ड ऑफ लाइक बूस्ट कैंप में के जितने भी वीडियोज है ना ऑल ऑफ दम आर लॉजिकल डी आई देर इज नो एस बेसिक फंडाइज इन लॉजिकल डी आई जस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग समवट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो दैट विल की फॉर नो नेक्स्ट वीक में करेंगे ओके Yes, it had good questions. That's right. So logical DI is something which we are already doing, like numerical logic and whatever we have done in the boost camp. All are all of them are the logical DI actually. So there is no end. I can keep discussing a lot of new sets. Our night may be class. No, there is no class in the night. Okay. So, so good day to all of you. All right. So we'll be meeting soon. I'll send you the schedule of the next week. ठीक है और व्हाट वी कैन डू फॉर लॉजिकल डी आई इज आई कैन गिव यू द डी आई सेट इन द एडवांस कर लो एंड आई कैन डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट विद द डिस्कशन मैं तुम्हें बता दूंगा कहां पे अपलोड किया है मैंने सेट यू कैन सॉल्व इट ऑन योर ओन एंड आई विल स्टार्ट विद द डिस्कशन टाइम भी बच जाएगा तो सेशन विल बी ऑफ वन आवर इंस्टेड ऑफ अदरवाइज मैं एक घंटा तुम्हें दू सॉल्व करके बिकॉज देर इज नो बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इट्स मोर ऑफ प्रैक्टिस एंड प्रैक्टिस ठीक है 
हाँ बट आई एम गोइंग टू लास्ट के जो वीडियोज है कुछ क्वेश्चन है उसमें से मैं कुछ नए क्वेश्चन भी एड करूंगा कुछ ठीक है सो आई एम गोइंग टू चेंज मेक सर्टन चेंजेस ठीक है सो ओके सो वट आई डू आई प्रिपेयर द न्यू एक्सरसाइज ऑफ लॉजिकल डी आई फॉर दिस ईयर दो भी चेंजेस मुझे करना है आई विल अपलोड दोज एक्सरसाइजेस वन शू सॉल्व दोज एक्सरसाइजेज आई गिव अ डेट इस डेट में इस टाइम पे डिसाइड डिस्कस करेंगे एंड देन आई ठीक है सो आई प्रिपेयर ऑल दी सिक्स न्यू एक्सरसाइजेज ऑफ लॉजिकल डी आई चलो सो गुड डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू